Having been married for 45 years with two daughters, I'm very cognizant of my language. The offensive name calling uh, words attributed to me by the press were never spoken to my colleagues, and if they were construed that way, I apologize for their misunderstanding. That is a lie. He did say those words. And in that statement, he is accusing reporter Michael Ellis and Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez of misunderstanding the words he said. And he's apologizing for their misunderstanding, for their mistake, not anything he did. He said, I apologize for their misunderstanding. That's what he said. As people like Ted Yoho so often do, he invoked his God while lying, lying on the floor of the House of Representatives. I cannot apologize for my passion or for loving my God, my family, and my country. I yield back. Thank you. Ted Yoho came close to tears in his statement that most definitely was not an apology and his tears were not about his own shameful conduct. His tears were for himself. When he was thinking back to those days when he wasn't rich. My wife Carolyn and I started out together at the age of 19 with nothing. We did odd jobs. And we were on food stamps. And just to complete the picture of Ted Yoho, you must know that this man, who was supported by his government through the food stamp program, this man who was saved from hunger by food stamps, has voted to cut food stamps, such as the utter moral bankruptcy of Ted Yoho, which is of a piece with the moral bankruptcy of the Trump gangster regime. Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was going to let it all go until she heard those lies on the floor of the House of Representatives told by Ted Yoho. And so Congressman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez told her story on the House floor today. Here is some of what she had to say. I was minding my own business, walking up um, the steps, and Representative Yoho put his finger in my face. He called me disgusting. He called me crazy. He called me out of my mind. Um, and he called me dangerous. And then he took a few more steps, and after I had recognized his, uh, after I had recognized his, his comments as rude, he walked away and said, I'm rude, you're calling me rude. I took a few steps ahead, and I walked inside and cast my vote. I walked back out, and there were reporters in the front of the Capitol, and in front of reporters, Representative Yoho called me, and I quote, a f bitch. These are the words that Representative Yoho levied against a congresswoman. Every word that Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez attributes to Ted Yoho is exactly what Mike Lillis reports he heard Ted Yoho say every word. Mr. Yoho was not alone. He was walking shoulder to shoulder with Representative Roger Williams. And that's when we start to see that this issue is not about one incident. It is cultural. It is a culture of lack of impunity, of accepting of violence and violent language against women in an entire structure of power that supports that. Because not only have I been spoken to disrespectfully, particularly by members of the Republican Party and elected officials in the Republican Party, not just here, but the President of the United States last year told me to go home to another country with the implication that I don't even belong in America. And I do not need Representative Yoho to apologize to me. Clearly, he does not want to. Clearly, when given the opportunity, he will not. And I will not stay up late at night waiting for an apology from a man who has no remorse over calling women and using abusive language towards women. But what I do have issue with is using women, our wives, 
and daughters as shields and excuses for poor behavior. Mr. Yoho mentioned that he has a wife and two daughters. I am two years younger than Mr. Yoho's youngest daughter. I am someone's daughter too. Now, what I am here to say is that this harm that Mr. Yoho levied, it tried to levy against me, was not just an incident directed at me. But when you do that to any woman, what Mr. Yoho did was give permission to other men to do that to his daughters. He gave, in using that language in front of the press, he gave permission to use that language against his wife, his daughters, women in his community. And I am here to stand up to say that is not acceptable. And so what I believe is that having a daughter does not make a man decent. Having a wife does not make a decent man. Treating people with dignity and respect makes a decent man. And when a decent man messes up, as we all are bound to do, he tries his best and does apologize not to save face, not to win a vote. He apologizes genuinely to repair and acknowledge the harm done so that we can all move on. Lastly, what I want to express to Mr. Yoho is gratitude. I want to thank him for showing the world that you can be a powerful man and accost women. You can have daughters and accost women without remorse. You can be married and accost women. You can take photos and project an image to the world of being a family man and accost women without remorse and with a sense of impunity. It happens every day in this country. It happened here on the steps of our nation's capital.